Welcome to Academic Web Services Training. I am your host, David Pinter. And in this session, what we're going to be discussing is removing items from the table of contents. I am inside of the Calibre editor at the moment, and I've just saved the document. So now what I want to do is I want to view it in an actual EPUB reader. So I'm going to go over here to Chrome, and we have a link here. It's called EPUB-Reader. And what we want to do is we want to open up the book that we just finished editing. So here it is, the Res 820, and I want to click on that and hit Open. And as you can see, we have a front cover here, and then we can just go through the document like you would normally, and then scroll through and read it. Off to the left side, however, we have the table of contents. Now, sometimes there may be more items in here from the styles of your Word document that you want to remove. And in this case, we come down here to the bottom of Chapter 1, and we notice that there's the word answers. So we don't want to have that inside of the table of contents. I'm going to scroll down a little further down in chapter two. We'll notice that nearing the bottom here, under the check for understanding, there is another answers. And then when we come down to chapter three, there's another one here. So and so forth throughout the document. What we want to do is remove those. So let's go back to the Calibre editor. Now I'm in the editor. We're, we're in the document. So what we want to do is we want to go to the top menu item. It says tools. Come down and go to the table of contents, and then what we're going to be doing is editing the table of contents. We want to click this button here, edit table of contents. Now what this is going to do is going to have two panels, one on the left and one on the right. The one on the left has these little flyout menus, and you can kind of twirl those down and see which items you want to edit or remove. So I'm going to bring that one back up. Here's chapter one, and I'm going to now scroll down a little bit here to the very bottom, and it says, okay, here's a checks for understanding. What I want to do is I want to click on that little uh, rollout, and you can, you can see there's the, one, there's the first one in chapter one for the answers. So I just simply select it, go over here to the right side, and it says remove this entry. So right here I want to just click that and remove it. I'll bring that back up, and we'll take a look at chapter two. So chapter two, here's check for understanding. I want to twirl that down, and then again, there's the answer and then remove the entry, go down to chapter three, let's uh, move this one up, go to chapter three now, and then take a look at this one, again check for understanding, and then we're going to then click on the word answers, and then remove this entry. So there you go, you would hit OK, and then remember to come over here and then hit save. So now what we want to do is we want to go back over to the reader, we want to close this document out completely and then kind of remove the cache from this document. So we want to close that out. I'm going to close this out here and then reopen it again like this and then refresh a couple of times because sometimes some of that cache is still sitting there inside of the browser. So we have that. Now what we want to do is since we've saved the Calibre document, we want to open up that ebook again. There's the Res 20 hit open. And then, again, check it to see if all your information is here. Yes, it is. And then I want to come over here to the left side and then scroll down. And sure enough, underneath the check for understanding, the word answers has been removed. In chapter two, again, at the very bottom here, we have the answers removed here. And then again, in chapter three, there it is, that's been removed underneath the check for understanding. So there it is, a simple way to remove unwanted items inside of your table of contents.